It looks like Ukraine is about to launch an offensive, as they launch attacks on three different areas in the south. It's day 466 of Russia's operation in Ukraine. Let's dive deeper. Starting from the southern front, a couple of hours ago a report came, Ukrainian forces launched a counter-attack on three areas. Strength of each attack was up to one motorized infantry company with support of tanks. They attacked positions of the 5th Combined Army of the Russian Armed Forces. But Russian forces were able to repel all the attacks except this one. It is said that Ukrainian forces were able to advance up to a couple of hundred meters. Fights are still going on so it is hard to estimate the exact advance. Now moving to Kupiansk. Recently a report came. Russian forces launched a massive push and were able to advance up to one kilometer overnight. But the report said the advance was near Derikna. If we zoom out, you can see that it is located on the other side of the Osko River. And all the area on the eastern side of the river is under Russian control for quite a while now. And I highly doubt they cross the river, because currently it does not make sense to cross it. If we zoom back in, my opinion is that they were able to advance in either of these two areas. It is more likely here, because I have received many reports of Russian forces attacking Sinkivka intensely. But in my next video I might have confirmation. Now very interesting news has come, because of the recent events around Belgorod, Wagners are very interested in going there. I should remind you that there were no official statements issued. But many Russian sources are saying, Wagners are going to be deployed near Belgorod. Many have speculated that they are planning to launch attack on Kharkiv. In fact, one report says, one Wagner unit has already arrived in the area. I also agree, if Wagners are going to deploy near Belgorod, they are going to launch some kind of offensive. Because using them as a border guard is not ideal, and it is a waste of the skills. So I think they could attack Kharkiv. But this is all speculation. Let's wait a couple of days and see where this goes. Now moving to Marienka. Russian forces after capturing the last street were attacking the next street from multiple directions. So as per report it is said they were able to turn this whole street into a gray zone. Which means no one controls it fully and a lot of back and forth is going on. Given that they managed to push Ukrainian forces back, indicates that we might see confirmed progress soon. As you can see progress is steady and has increased in recent days compared to previous times. Now moving to south of Bakhmut, a couple of minutes ago a report came, VDV went on offensive in order to regain lost territory near the canal. Report says they were successful in pushing Ukrainian forces back to the other side of the canal. But keep in mind as this is a very fresh report, I am not able to confirm with other sources. One day ago many Ukrainian sources shared pictures of Leopard 2A6 in Ukraine. This now confirmed that the first batch of the tanks had arrived. But I assume that they are only going to use it in their offensive. Subscribe for more frontline updates. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.